Welcome back. We are at it again. And we'll be playing with, quote unquote, the new top dog for this meta 13.0. So it's the Japanese F15. And this is the second plane I've ever, well, Chet, that I've ever put a Golden Crew on. Yeah. You can do some wild turns and stuff. But it kind of, sort of doesn't help sometimes. Depends on the match. So matches are kind of weird right now. There's people grinding. There's people that have unlocked everything. Um, yeah, I did waste some Golden Eagles to go ahead and unlock some stuff on it. Because, uh, yeah, trying to grind this thing is stupid. It's agile. It supposedly has some of the best missiles. I run eight of the uh, 120s. Because supposedly the AM4s are not working properly right now. I have tried them out a couple of times. You can definitely tell. But, yeah, I run eight of the AM120As. Uh, they work wonderful. I'll hop into it. So the matches have been like this. I either get no kills or an assist or, you know, one kill. And right now it looks to be about three to four people getting all the kills on the team. Sometimes spread out a little bit more. Also, I've tried climbing high. I've tried going low. Honestly, I fly at like a medium altitude to give you the best bet of survival. So we're talking about 3,000. Now, your best fights are going to be within about 30 kilometers. That's what I've kind of found out with this thing, is it works a little bit better. And I'm running 170 chaff to flare, so I rarely get in range for IR missiles lately. But when you do, you're probably dead. It's just nature of the beast right now. And we're going to go TWS because that's what everything's running off of. I'm just going to run 74. There's no real point to even lock up people higher than that. I have yet to black out in this thing with a golden crew. But yeah, so what's the strategy? Get within roughly 40 something and launch a missile. Yeah. And then turn, go cold, drop a ton of chaff, which may or may not save you. I've had... It's been the weirdest thing. I've gone cold against people that have launched from 50 away, broke lock, dumped a ton of chaff, and still been slapped. So your mileage may vary on that. I was watching Dude play his. Granted, he had a, a squadron with him. They're all doing pretty well. But I'm like, dude, how are you not getting slapped? Now, when you get in close with this thing, it can really shine. The problem is, if there's an R-77 or anything that's got the 50 g pool missiles, like the Micas, they're just insane IR missiles, basically, once you're that close. You're, you're probably not dodging that, probably not chaffing it. I've tried many, many times. Eh, I'm flying up to 8, so... I'm going to BVR a little bit. I'm probably going to die because I'm still learning how to notch the new stuff and go cold. And all that fun stuff. Let's see who else is up here. What's somebody right there. Plenty of F-15s up here. A lot more people climbing nowadays. And the matches, they are slower now. There's not a giant furball, so you're going to have to worry about that. Um, looks like they only have one guy. One thing I've noticed is if your team doesn't have all the top tier stuff and... If your team does, and yeah, you're probably dying. Like that Barak 2, I feel bad for the guy. These F-16s, those MiG-29 SMTs, and he has bombs loaded, so good luck, buddy. Um, we should be within... Here we are. So we're just going to go ahead and fire one off. Lock. Let's see if we can lock something else. I'm not even going to worry about the guy. Over we're just putting geez. something out there. So I kind of want to turn away from him just in case he starts firing at me. Just in case something has dropped over my direction. And see, you can't even see where the missiles are going now. It's kind of weird how they've changed that. It's like he turned around. He did go cold. Good for him. Good job. Uh, looks like he's going slightly away from me. We'll go ahead and force a lock on him. And I gotta be careful because there's things below us that will just look straight up and slap me. This is a bit dangerous. He's flying away from us now. He went cold. I don't think that's another F-15 or he doesn't have engine upgrades. One of the two. Okay, he's diving now. He shouldn't do that. If you just slightly pull your nose up and try to get some speed, it'll work out much better. And I really want to slap this guy because he knows I'm up here. I know he's up here. And he's trying to BVR. 
saw. And if you look to the top left there where it says AM, or anti-air missile, there's 22 seconds until it hits. Yeah, now you get a timer until you slap somebody. And I still have six missiles. And this thing's just gonna keep tracking. I'm just gonna keep lock. Lock. We'll launch another one. And down he goes. I mean, there's literally nothing Over you can do. G. That's why I say it's a bit weird, is even if you go cold, drop chat, doesn't mean you're getting away. I can just relock you. So, mm, what choice of targets do we have? There's something right there. Lock. Go ahead and force a lock on it. And once it gets within 16, it'll do its own thing. Then we can unlock it. Mm, there's a Su-27 right there. How many are left? Still a decent amount of them left. Keen vision, unfortunately, even with teammates around, is not working properly. We'll go ahead and lock that. I think that's somebody, so... Lock! We'll leave the lock on there. Once it gets within 16, it'll go do its own thing. But may as well keep a hard lock on it for a minute. Uh, we'll go helmet mount it. Come on. Now this guy's dead. Lock! Just doesn't know it yet. Lock! So is that guy. And probably this guy here, too. Lock! Oh, nope, he's dead. Lock! And he had hard lock. Surprised that one missed him, but hey. We still got two targets. And if we look at the statistics, one, two, three, four, five. So seven of our team got kills, which is actually really good because most of the time it's going to be the top five or six that just bogart all the kills. This guy's got five kills. He did very well. And I have seen that here and there, not a whole bunch, but he is dead. There's one person left on their team, yada, yada, yada. Match over, because there's no way he's going to live versus all these A-Rams flying around. It's another F-15. And if you heard that right before that 27ER hit me, I was turned away and chapping like no tomorrow. But it was way too close for me to uh, effectively get away. I should have climbed out and sped over him, but I didn't, because I was being greedy. I wanted that easy kill. And that cost me my jet. As far as the new Chinese top tier, uh, they basically suffer the same thing as the Su-27, uh, was it SM? And he's gonna crash. Why? I have no clue. The new F-16s are doing quite well. I've actually been killed by them more than anything. And that's just to their positioning. They're able to position extremely well. Let's see what they are. Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to look at the name and see where the symbols are from. He got way too close to the other F-15. He's got plenty of missiles though. We'll hop out of that. We win. Oh, he did kill him. So that's gonna be your typical match. You can climb high, you can go low. You're gonna have about the same same effect. Same everything. Yeah, I was not grinding through that with how dumb the BRs are right now. But okay, once again, your team composition. I've had a team where it was just all top tier 13.0s. And they had MiG-29, SMTs, Bazes, just stuff that could not fight us. And that match ended in roughly four minutes. That's just how it is right now. You're going to get this new map a lot. It's a... Uh, if you're trying to hug the ground, it's decent. Your best bet's to go in these rivers right here and just pray that um, the missile misses you. That's it. This match will fly kind of low. We'll try not to get in front of everybody because that's another big issue. So, yeah. This thing has great engines. Su-27 engines are still better. I'm going to go ahead and say that. Much better. TWS out, and we're going to fire down from the bottom to the top, is what we're going to do. Now, you get a little bit more survivability going a little bit low. You can do what I call a, like a frog hop or a little dolphin hop, I guess. You're going to swing super low to the ground, almost touch it, and then bring your nose back up, like somewhat somebody but as close as you can get 
And a lot of times that will save you if you can pull it off and not panic. So there's that. F6 and C's, regular Su 27s, regular F 15s. Actually, not regular F 15s. Lots of good F 15s. So this should be a quick match. How am I still in front of everybody? Oh, here's somebody. 60 out, that's way too far out. Let's go ahead and cycle through. He's 55. Typically, once you get into like 40 something, that's relatively good range to go ahead and uh, start slapping people. Lock. Mm. Lock. And we're just gonna dump kind of everything. I want to get this guy up here. Lock. Over G. Over G. Still got four missiles. Over G. Altitude. Over G. And still didn't black Altitude. out with that massive of a turn. Oh, there we go. I did black out there. So. Pull up. Over G. Pull up. Now those missiles may or may not hit, but the fact that they're out there, that's all that matters. I probably knocked off some of the tracking on a few of them. That's okay. Nobody's died yet. I could have died if I had more than a few missiles headed my direction. Lock. Mm. Oh, I think he's dead. Lock. Yeah, he is dead. Over I'm gonna G. swap over to this. going to play it like a uh, IR boat right now. Over G. That Mirage really wants to lock me up there. Lock. Come on, he's chaffing his brains out. He's not going to get away from it though. Lock. Over G. See if we can avoid it. That was an ET, that was completely my fault. No, I forgot there's an IR missile still in the game. But yeah, as you can see, I didn't get a whole bunch of kills. I got one, launched some stuff, let them go. That's why it feels like a bit slower gameplay sometimes, and sometimes it's just a complete cluster. Just all over the place. There's a couple of games last night where I got triple kills, a bunch where I didn't. Yeah, here we go. Three right there. Three and two criticals. Almost had an ace that game. I gotta remember there are iron missiles still in the game. <laughs> Especially when I'm going that close. Uh, city map? I'm just gonna climb. Climb and derp. And I say 40 kilometers for these missiles because that's what feels like they'll hit the most often. There's been times where I've climbed up to 7,000, dropped five missiles, three of them hit once I got within that 40 kilometer range. Granted, they probably just kept flying straight or just, you know, try diving way too late. Does it feel like the new Top Dog? To begin with, I would say no, but after playing the Su 27SM, it's. It feels so much better. And that kind of sucks. So we changed role. We went from the 2070Rs being the better BBR to the AIM 120s being the better BBR. So, I mean, it's a little change of pace. Definitely neat. You've got more chaff and flares than everything other than a uh, Gripen. Which you really don't have to worry about them too much. I have been killed by the R99Bs a few times. Which is kind of hilarious, but you know, it is what it is. I kind of turn off these guys. And if you actually side climb, you can clean house. I'm pretty sure he's launching on me. So we went cold, dropped a bunch of chaff, gotta get some speed, and then we'll turn around. And we're slowly climbing back up. I 
I wonder if the return to battlefield thing still works to where it uh, knocks out radar missiles tracking. We're about to find out. Lock. And we're gonna turn. Launch and turn. Name of the game. Looks like he's moving away from me, so he went cold. Good deal. Doing what he's supposed to be doing. Lock. We'll launch another one. Over G. Oh, we got a little slow. Oh, there's the F-16 down there. Turn the battlefield. Over G. Look how agile this thing is. It's just dumb good. Lock. Oh, there we go. Lock. And give me a mirage. Lock. Over G. Over G. We got way too slow. Oh, we're gonna eat a missile here. I can already tell it. We'll see if any of those hit. That was a close one. Unfortunately, that missile missed. Next one's on the F-16. And I have an F-16 chasing me. Oh, we still got three missiles, so let's pull back Over around. G. And it looks like our team is not doing Over too G. well. Come on. Lock! Lock. And we'll take this mirage. And Not I'm there. Low. Lock. Over G. Shaft flare. Low. Shaft flare. Low. Over G. And we need to go back, rearm, get some chaff and flare. You LP. can be killed very easily on the airfield. And you get matches like this, where you'll launch everything and not get anything. Maybe I should've gone in closer? Who knows? That had some really good locks Air there. On. Landing this thing is quite easy. Over G. Just making sure Pull you don't up. get hit, hit by any Air remaining uh, AIM-120s is the hard part. Pull up. I'll try to get below this a little bit right Pull here to up. block anything. Turn our engines off, gear down. Air break on. Gear down. Gear down. So you don't always get a kill in the games. Like I said, it's been a bit Air more break difficult on. sometimes. Air break on. And again, I'm still learning the whole BVR meta thing, too. Air break on. Air oh. break on. It takes forever for this thing to slow down. Air brake on. Air brake on. Come on. I'm holding on these brakes for dear life. Air brake on. Oh, Air brake on. There's an F-16 right there. I'm gonna max out crew, so we'll be back up here in no time. Two of us, for, two of us versus four of them. That guy's on. got five kills. Yeah, being locked already. That's quite all right. Let's cycle through what we got over here. We up ground momentarily. That F-16 up there looks like a good choice. My radar will pick him up. Lock. And it looks like he's coming towards us. Um, or he got really slow. Cause we're gaining a lot of speed at 600 versus. Now he's turned tail. I think it's a little too late on that. Looks like he's trying to turn again. Mm, is it close enough to auto track? Lock. Let's see if I can force this F 16 to do something different. 
29 seconds to hit. I don't think that's an F-16, but whatever. F-16's probably hovering around. Come on, give me a lot. That was a mica missile. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. So we're 100 percent cold this Shot missile. Flare. Over G. Shot flare. Low. Shot flare. Low. Shot flare. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. There he is. Let's do something he can't do. It really doesn't do good at higher altitudes. And that would be a mega missile. Altitude, pull up. Yep. Can't escape those. I really thought the F-15 was faster than that. Kinda weird he chased me down. Unfortunately, all we have is an F-16C left. Hey, that was quite strange. That is what it is. And that's new top tier for you. It's kind of gotten boring, to be honest. Everybody hated the last meta, where there's, you know, radar missiles that were killing, but people had to dive into the dogfights and the furballs. Now we've got an arcade DCS simulator. Just alright, I guess, but... Till next time, guys, have a good one.